Elliot? Ah, oh, Delphine. Oh, thank God you're here. The lights were off, so I thought... That... Uh, I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... I'm scared. Of what? What are you drinking? Juice again. It's only juice. Juice and nothing else. Breathe on me. <sighs> you heard me. <sighs> I'm sorry. It, it hasn't been a good day. What's happened? No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? I don't know who she is. Half true. The guy I know is having trouble with a two-bit mafioso. He asked me to go with him, just in case. I didn't have to get it out. Well, don't. Don't start taking on the mafia. Not now. You really don't know? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective and yet you've never been able to understand people. Capone got out of jail. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his striped pajamas and in four minutes' time he'll be snoring in his cell. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? Uh... Let him come. He'll find the fastest waiter in Santa Esperanza. Before he can pull his gun, I'll have him dead drunk. Please, Elliot, don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... What? Oh. I don't I don't want to come on to you, lady. I'm fine. Thanks. My hand? I burnt it cooking. Fried eggs are the devil's work. What's going on, Elliot? We're closed. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? Sure, of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. Elliot. Um. Uh, Dolphin. I said a couple of minutes, Milton. It's all right. Goodbye, Elliot. You can use that couple of minutes to teach this gentleman some manners. No, and it's none of your business. Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. <laughs> Sorry, what? Seriously, you're not... No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty, Jim Dockers. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't a deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Dockers was my best friend. I couldn't do that to him. Not even now he's dead. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my priorities. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forget it. He's gay. Yeah. It's all right. You screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? I don't think he holds it against me this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? I'm a cop. Correction, I was a cop. You do the job you're given. End of story. I hear you. But you didn't finish the next job they gave you. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine. 
I look great. Everything's gonna work out fine, huh? You sure it's here? Relax. It's just a little further. Just follow me. This All right. plan is suicidal. We're gonna die. I don't think so. I don't think so. And may I ask why? It's not the first time I've done a job like this. And I never was any good at getting killed. There's a first time for everything, my friend. Milton, if you go on contradicting me, you're not going to get into your role. Don't forget, while we're here, you're supposed to be at my beck and call. While we're here? Hear that? Not bad. <laughs> A white boy who likes the blues. What's next? You gonna let the black man vote? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that happens fairly soon after this time period. The race sailors of the island of St. Helena. An anchor. Alright. I'm really liking this game. It's awesome so far. Awesome. Well, what's going on over there? Got a room, you too. Customs. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? Hello, friend. I've come to speak with Nikolai Ivankov. Can you help me? I'm sorry, pal. The Mummy Repair Center is over on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> well, we tried being polite. Kick him in the balls, honey. It'd be my pleasure, uh, sweetie chops. Dakota. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure, Miss Dakota. I should have gone for the other one. Listen, friend, I've had to freeze my ass off on guard duty Authority. myself. Let me and my man pass, and you can carry on warming yourself up. The other option is for us to warm him up ourselves, Mr. Burke. Ah, you got one of those uppity Negroes, I see. If he's like that with me, think what he'd do with you. What the fuck? Who the hell do you think you are? And the guy's gonna beat your ass. I'm Osmond Burke, and I have an appointment with your boss. You're Burke? Why didn't you say so before? Come on in. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Yeah, I should have gone with authority there, actually. Guy like this respects authority. Well, no, he doesn't respect authority at all. He respects, um... Talking like a badass or something? I don't know. He's n he doesn't respect being friendly to him, anyway. It's like in uh, the la latest Game of Thrones episode, although I'm not going to talk about that, because it's completely unrelated, but yeah. Anyway. Hello, good fellas. How are you doing today? What's this? Oh, is this where we're supposed to be? Oh, shit. You really want to know? Better off not asking. Hmm. Is that one of the monsters that... was apparently... that killed that guy that we just were... had this place... Dock 42. Yep, that's where we're supposed to be. Follow me, sir. It's supposed to be here. Where's the ship? Looking for someone. We arranged to meet Nikolai Ivankov at berth 42, but it looks like the ship isn't moored here. Has she set sail? <laughs> it isn't moored? <laughs> Maybe she sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Well, that explains things.
Okay. I think that is the first episode finished. Credits. Um, they actually look pretty cool, so I'm wondering if I should watch this, but let me see if I can actually even skip it. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, I pressed every button there is on the controller and nothing worked, so I guess we have to watch this. That's fine. Maybe it'll do a next time on thing. Uh, and I quickly talk about this game. It's pretty damn awesome. Jules the Young, that sounds like a Dutch name. Well, it is a Dutch last name anyway. What the f This is pretty awesome so far. I'm looking forward to more. I have no idea how fast they're going to be releasing new episodes. I imagine it'll be every six to six to eight weeks, maybe. Similar to the other um, episodic series. I'm doing tons of them now. Like, I'm doing Game of Thrones. I'm doing um, Life is Strange. This one, I'm about to start another one as well called King's Quest, which the first episode will probably go up actually tomorrow or the day after. Not sure when I'm uploading this. Actually, no, by the time this particular video has gone up, you'll have seen it quite a while ago, if you watched it anyway. But it will have been up for quite a while. Anyway, yeah, this this is this is cool so far. I like that it's not... It, it's historic, but it, it's a different... Like, it's a fantasy-ish historic. Like, there's... I don't know if it's monsters or something, but there's something going on. Anyway, I think that's the end of the credits, so they don't take very long. It's just the voice actors, I guess. I will accept this. children who behave badly, don't you? <laughs> Yesterday, it was Juliet who behaved badly. Do you remember? Uh-huh. She hit Junior so she would finish ahead of him in the morning race. Do you know what we did to her? Mm -mm. Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. Which do you prefer? The doll or the plush toy? Bear. Two days ago, Mickey bit Tom so he could take his food. Do you know what we did with him? Bruno says you killed him. Bruno says many things. Which do you prefer, blonde hair or brown? Uh, don't really have a preference, but blonde, I suppose. Red, really, but you know, not an option. What the hell is happening here? This is so freaky. I love it. Like, I really love this. This is just so freaky. And today, you tried to escape. Do you know what the difference is? No. I didn't do anything bad against someone's friend, yeah. So we would not punish them. You tried to escape, but you did not harm your friends. On the contrary, you tried to help Bruno, putting your own life in danger. Very few children would do that. We are going to punish you. <laughs> but in a different way than Juliet and Mickey. Bruno, on the other hand, did something very similar to them. He betrayed you to avoid being punished. I'm sorry. Which of these two drawings do you like best? Oh, shit. Uh, the right one. Oh, that's the one that we saw. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my. They chopped off his fucking hand. Right, because he throws away the things that he threw the other things in the fire and it was engraved on his hand, so he chopped off his hand. What the fuck? I love it. I, I love the creepiness of that. I wonder what would happen if I had not gone with that option, if I had uh, tried to escape myself. 
Because in the beginning, I was like, what the fuck, kid? I just tried to save you and you betray me. And now, oh, I love the decision in this game. They actually seem like they, they make a difference. Anyway, I can't skip this either. Which is a shame. But I guess I'll continue once again talking about what I like about this game. And I, it's, uh, it's very much, I like it a lot. It's so cool. I can't wait for the next one, actually. Next episode. I really like it. I, I really like the creepiness, like I said. It's... I don't know. It's cool. Um, I don't know what to say, really. It's just... It's really awesome. Um, but like I said, I hope... Or I assume maybe six to eight weeks they release new episodes. I couldn't find anything on it. Um, but that's, that's generally what they do with episodic games. So I'm imagining that's what they'll do with this one as well. I'm sure uh, the next one I will upload as fast as it's released, basically, or as soon as it's released. Like with this one, I was a few days after the release of the game because I wasn't sure if I was going to get a review copy from the developer. Um, but uh, I didn't, so I ended up just buying it myself because I really like it. Anyway, I've got a feeling this might last a while. I do want to, because I'll probably get to see the decisions that I've made. Um, so I want to come back for that. So I guess I'll see you guys after the credits. I'll just, I'll just edit this out and then, yeah, see you guys after the credits. Protect him. Is she here? My father asked you to take care of me. Is this how you respect a dead man's wishes? Screw everything I said. He's Al Capone. He may not have much left, but he'll have something. Life's full of little twists and turns, huh? All right. There we go. So there was a next time on as well. So paternalistic, I chose to be nice. I guess that's what I chose, and then 71% of people did that worldwide, 29% of people decided to be harsh. Calm, I remained calm after the taunting, 56%. Pretty close one there, 44% got mad, demanding. I demanded him to exile from the country. Uh, 33%, 42% asked him to relinquish his fortune, and 25% asked him to go back to jail. I was actually debating between exile and back to jail. But I decided to go with Exile. I think both are fine. I, I would never, I wouldn't have asked him for the money because then we just seem like a scumbag. Like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of cheap. Like, well, basically, we would, we would be the bad guy because we just work for a bad guy, but only for money. Sober. Oh wow, seventy-four percent people decided to stay sober while twenty-six decided to drink whiskey. And I was sensitive to Delphine, and others are crude to Delphine. Okay, she was still pretty pissed with me, though. Cool. All right, so I always like that about big has mode unlocked. <laughs> I I saw that. Um, I'm not gonna turn it on. I saw that you can go into extras, and yeah, there's an like it said there's something that you can un or that you unlock after you played um, the first episode. I guess it's big head mode. That's pretty funny. Anyway, that is going to be the first episode of Blues and Bullets. Awesome game so far. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I will see you again soon when the second episode has been released. Uh, until then, have a good day and goodbye.